Yeah, it must be you, Brian. Yeah. It's definitely you yeah. or something. Probably. Okay, so we want there to be a focus. Great. So hopefully you can see that. Is that kind of in frame or frame? I can see to the logo of your glass mat and about an inch above your glass. And mat. is it straight? I've just angled it. Is it straight? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I can see it now, so it's fine. Okay, so um, we're going to do. We're kind of nearing the end of this because um, there's not much more I want to do to it. What I do want to show you is um, the bit that I have worked on without you. Sorry, folks, I know. I'll turn you back for five minutes and I've done something. But you know how I put these buttons in last last week. And uh, this button, sorry, and I said I wanted to use it as some way to like be able to connect that uh, French board. Well, I've connected the French board to it, and I've connected it like this. So basically, they unhook from here, and I wanted it to be that kind of like raw naivety that somebody has adapted something to fit the purpose, their purpose. So this is what I did. Was what I did. I did tie these off, but clearly they didn't tie very tightly. Um, because it's all coming undone um but <laughs> nevertheless this one's nice and tight i just obviously can't tie a knot um so but yes so that's so they they're going to hook onto those buttons so let's just correct this and try and sort out my this was late last night so there's a very good chance that i was not awake properly to be able to do this mm -hmm. and there's a very good chance that i'm not going to be able to do this on camera today because I can't figure out how to undo a knot. Right, what is a knot? Knot, not a good knot. Um, right, okay. Oh no, it's not in there. So I took it out yeah. last night. So you about your tin. Oh, yeah, sorry, yes, Leah, it's... Um, Tell her if she ever collects a journal off Yes. Her. She'll get one. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. You tell her. You've already told her. I don't know where you heard that, Leah. But if you collect your uh, journal off us, um, or we can arrange to meet you at some point and get the journal to you, um, you also will have one of those tins because there's, there's one for you. Bag full of ephemera. Yeah. So there's one for you as as well, along with a lot of ephemera for you. So. Um, so it's the journal that Brian made for you. So, and I've put a few other bits in there and to kind of help you know, bulk it out. Um, so anyway, that's what's uh, that's the situation, Leah. So you don't have to be jealous of the tin because you got one. Um, we know, we know what you like. We know that you like these things. We, you know, I've I'd had it in my stash for a while and then like. Uh, what am I doing first of all, Dave? Um, no, but yeah, that's the right way around. <laughs> no, yep, yep, no. Um, I, we were looking through, sorting out, and I went, <gasps> Leah would like that. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of things that I found. <laughs> Leah. <gasps> Leah. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, um, Leah that watches... Um, is a fan of London stuff, so um, and generally British stuff. So, um, oh, I don't know what's going on here, Brian. What on earth? I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I don't know. What the heck? Oh, now I've pulled it out the wrong. Okay, just takes a clown to behave like a clown, doesn't it? So. Okay, let's try this again. This is my lack of sleep. I'm, I will, I'll just let you into a secret. It's not really a secret, because like, it's not like I have to kill you, because now you know. Um, I am in a lot of pain today. Um, I had to take some Zapain last night, um, which I don't like taking. I don't like taking painkillers generally. But I had to. I just could not sleep last night. Um, and the reason for that is my peripheral neuropathy was so painful so so painful um i just could not get to sleep um and then when i did get to sleep which was about half two you can't see this can you i just realized when i did get to sleep about half two um i 
um, ha it was only because I'd taken a Zapain. Um, and then I got went to sleep and I slept for a good four hours and then Worcester decided no dad I want to bark at the things that are outside and so he started barking and it woke me up and then I couldn't get back to sleep and I wasn't going to take another painkiller so I ended up being awake so um so I've had four hours sleep um and I'm still in pain like I like unusual pain for me because like I do I mean I get flare-ups of pain but this is unusual because it's a different type of pain it's like in very tips of my toes the very tips of my fingers and the my heel specifically on my left hand side so and it just is so painful but you know uh, the show must go on so um my fingers hurt so there we go i've, I've amended that amended Amend, amend it. Oh, shut up, though. I've amended it and repaired it and fixed it and all of that, all of the above. So all that means is this just now um, attaches on via these buttons, and I like the whole naivety of it because you know it's it's, it's as though somebody over time has thought, okay, I want to have this in here, and I've adapted it, and, and which is what we do with things treasured things that we have we kind of find a way to keep them in our lives don't we brian um so we're gonna have this on the front well i've kind of toyed with this this is where you guys come in okay now i made this one. so this was the demo one this was the one that i made prior to um and I made this one so that you could see what I wanted to make when I was making this one. Um, so I made this one just out of bits. There weren't even pa papers that I was particularly interested in. Sorry, it's that way around. Particularly interested in. There were just some papers that I had. Um, and then I made this one specifically for the front of here. But now I have a dilemma. Because I'm not sure which one to put on the front. So you have a choice of A... And the reason why this is A is because it was the first one that was made. So this is A or B. Which one will live on the front of the journal? Okay, so you helped me decide with the end papers here. Um, now it's your choice between A and B. Okay. Uh, votes will close on a day of the week. They will. They'll close. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So you guys. So it's like. So sorry if you're watching this on YouTube. You don't get. Uh, you don't get. In, you're not getting involved. Sorry about that, folks. I do get more watches on YouTube. I realise that. Um. But this is for the the Facebook Live people to thank you for watching me. So you get a choice between the A or the B. Okay. So. Two A's, two B's so far. At the end of this, the winning vote will will be the decider. If it is a draw, okay, then um, and your multiple votes do not count. So and um, calls may be charged at standard um, rate. No, sorry. Um, <laughs> you, if you, let me just put that there for a minute, because then it doesn't get you don't get the shine off there, and I haven't got the other matches yet. Um, if it goes to a, a tie, then what I'll do is I will then put it out to my YouTube um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, fair enough. So, by the end of this live, Brian will let me know what the current situation is and we'll decide from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make something for the rest of the journal. Okay, so for the, for the rest of the journal, it sounds very, you know... Um, non-committal doesn't it <laughs> we'll make something for something okay so what we're going to do is we are going to make where the hell have they gone <laughs> uh -huh. so yesterday yesterday i uploaded well this morning actually um i uploaded an, a haul video 
and I bought some records and I bought the reason why I bought some records is because I liked the covers don't want the records themselves so we're going to use I think possibly one of those two or maybe one of those or maybe that not that one I've got something uh, an idea for that we're gonna make uh, some pockets out of these not out of the records just out of the the covers okay so um we need to say toss that out the no I'll just throw it out my shoulder and <laughs> cut somebody's head off um i am going to see if we can get the um label off um uh and yet yeah, brian said poor man um because i was in a charity shop buying this yesterday and um he was talking about it, how it was his collection and like, oh, you know, do you like records? And like, I was, I was having a very vague, like, please get me away from me, this man conversation because I didn't want to say to him, um, well, actually, I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> so I feel a bit guilty when I buy books like that, when people start having a conversation with me about how, oh, yes, and I remember buying that book and like, and you know, and little Tommy really loved it and and then I feel like oh yes yeah so there was a girl in the British Art Foundation yesterday sorry the reason I repeat it is because I'm not quite sure whether because I wear a mic whether you can hear what Brian's saying um but yeah we were in the British Art Foundation yesterday and the girl was talking to us about books and like, oh, do you like books? And like, do you read a lot of books? And, and yeah, we're actually going to cut the, off. we're going to cut these off. To be fair, I didn't, we didn't say that though. So we just had that kind of vague, like, no, 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 yeah, lovely, okay, bye. <laughs> Uncomfortable conversation. So what I'm going to do is I want to cut it into kind of two sort of staggered pockets. Okay, so um, what, I'll, what, so I want to want to clearly because I want to um let's ma try and make it a bit straight Dave <laughs> let's break a habit of a lifetime and make it a bit straight um well, well let's try anyway let's aim for it at least so what I'm going to do is oh, let's find out how I know it's a seven inch single but I don't know how wide the thing is <sighs> well it's 18 and a half centimeters which of which that's nine and a quarter isn't it half of that okay so half is nine and a quarter now we don't want to cut it on the half because we want it to be two different size staggered pockets so if i go for what does it say 18 and a half i go for 10 and 8 that still looks quite maybe 11 11 and 7, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a moment there. <laughs> but let's go for <laughs> let's go for ten and a half. Let's split the difference. <laughs> so I'm going to cut that in half. Took the record. It's easier if we cut it. Were to cut it with the record out of it. So <laughs> just, in case, just in case you were wondering, <laughs> so what I want is to have some kind of double pocket like this, um, and. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter which side I use, does it? Well, it does, because it matters which side it goes in the in the thing. So let's get the... Oh, everything's just gone in the bin. Let's have a look. So we're going to have it on here. So I like this because it's that it looks like it's been adapted over time. It's that, you know, there's different elements and different things in it that... I, don't get me wrong I love it when people make junk journals and there's a theme and it's like all flowing and but like for me a junk journal I want it to look like it's been used and loved and you know they've cherished cherished it so so much that you know over over time you've adapted it and you've added things and you've taken things away and that sort of thing and that's why I like to have it so that there's a whole eclectic mix of different things in it so I know some people have said that my stuff doesn't really go together, but it does in a way that it goes together over time. So I'm having these in here because, you know, although I, I kind of think, 
the story behind this is this was like you know some uh, you know somebody's field notes book from you know I don't know the Victorian stroke Edwardian period and then like you know over time they've gone oh I need a uh, um, somewhere to put some other notes in so they've created a French board and then they've created this and you know they've added bits to it and you know it's come along and we're now in like the I don't know, the 60s and somebody has thought oh well, I've got some old records of my dad's and I'm going to you know I'll make a sleeve out of that and, it, that, and that's that's how I see it and I know it seems a bit weird and a bit mad but that's how my brain works I'm just gonna you're just gonna have to excuse me while I play some stripping music because I need to take a layer off <laughs> I'm having a hot flush and it's all gonna go horribly wrong the idea of a junk journal anyway what me stripping <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> okay, sorry, folks. Let me just put my mic back on. Sorry, Brian was saying, is that not what did you say? Is that not the whole point of a junk journal? A junk journal, anyway. Yeah, I well, that's for me that uh, because I take things very literal. So, um, and if you look at people that on YouTube that make the digital kitty, which there's nothing hmm. wrong with because I like the digital kits and the. I don't know whether you can hear what Brian's saying, so like what I'll do is I'll just give him the mic. A lot of the crafters you see on YouTube are trying to get away from the matchy matchy and be more like yours, so you're already there. I'm already eclectic or mad. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway, so um I kind of that's how I kind of want it to look, kinda. I keep saying kinda and I know I keep saying kinda, I'm so sorry. Um, kinda. Kinda. But what I want to do is I want to obviously to make it a pocket. I want to make I want to sail across the top on both of them. I'm going to st stick them together something like this. But I want to add a bit more interest to it. So um, we'll take these off here and we'll do this. Let's just take that out of, out of the bin as everything fell in. This is my brain firing on four hours sleep. So first of all, let's let's stick this down. So I'm just going to put a line of um, glue down here. I filled this up, by the way, so I don't have to shake it so much. Shake it, 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 shake it like a Polaroid picture. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, Brian was singing another shake it something. Um, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, oh right, Brian was doing Priscilla for Queen of the Desert and I was doing whatever his face is that I don't know. Um, it could have been worse, it could have been shaken back. Do the chicken back and put the freshness back. Do the chicken back and put the freshness back. If you want to know if your cup it smells fresh. Do the chicken back. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so that's what they're going to look like, okay, together. Okay, stop saying okay. All right, <laughs> in it. <laughs> no, but yeah. YouTube don't bother putting adverts in my <laughs> in my videos because I do them all myself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a drink. That's the only time when I can't say anything. <laughs> You're all thinking, drink more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and even many tries. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see the bubbles coming out while I'm trying to talk underwater. Um, so let's make some, add some bits to this to make it a bit more interesting and um, a bit more patched up. And um, my brain's going, oh, well, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> at this moment, yeah, <laughs> at the moment, I'm literally trying to rein it back in, like saying, "No, you can't do all of that now. <laughs> you haven't prepared any of it, so you can't do all of that." Um, oh, ting, round one. Okay, so um, what else have we got in here? Some other bits, a bit of fabric. Well, I might have that. Um, Bit of book page, bit of book page, bit of map, bit of map, bit of map, bit of map, bit of map. Sorry, I'm stuck on. Um, what's the thing? 
when it, you, when it gets stuck on that. Oh, echolalia? Yeah. Not a ukulele. <laughs> I can play, oh, blimey, my, 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 my mic's just, <laughs> my mic's just come off. Phone's on the floor, microphone everywhere. Not like you. The with technology. Um, yeah, I'm th throwing the technology around today, flaunting my technology. Um, so I want to kind of just piece bits together and I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. So you just have to bear with me. I think I want some of this on it. You call that collage. Colla oh, yes, I'm collaging. And if you do it with cheese, it's fromage collage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you do it with cheese. Oh <laughs> I'm malfunctioning, aren't I? <laughs> um, so, um, what? Today, I am cheese collage. Maybe what I should do is I should do a craft-a-thon and do like a a 24 hour craft where like you know I just burn myself out and be able to sleep without Worcester barking at something which he's clearly doing in the background now thanks Worcester for the barking interlude um so what my brain was thinking well let's do like oh, let's get some sellotape done and actually I think I might have to do some of that so, Worcester he doesn't normally bark that much Oh, now he's going to like complain about it. What? Shush! Noisy! What are you barking at? What, who has upset you that much? Was it another dog? Right. Car crash TV. Go <laughs> lie down quietly, did you just say to him? <laughs> That's not going to happen. But nice try. So I'm just getting, so this is just some um, non-stick paper, uh, what's it called, baking parchment. So um, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some sellotape or sticky tape, other brands of sellotape are available. And we're gonna make some of this. So you know my aged sellotape, I really shouldn't bite that with my, especially when, because I've got a hairy face. Just make sure it peels off again. Yeah, it does. That's fine. Um, my face is supposed to be hairy, by the way. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> it's not just random hair. Like It's not growing out of my eyeballs or anything like that. Um, so I'll put some of this on it, and then what we'll do is we'll make it old, sellotape -y looking. You've got to vote for a craft <laughs> <laughs> Who wants me to do a craftathon? And you not think I'm like mad enough as it is? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Eva. <laughs> Should a craftathon be fun? <laughs> Should do it like you know, like they do, like the televised, you know, when the appeal raising. So. I'll pop in for an hour every now and again. <laughs> Make sure you're fed and watched. Um, yeah, make sure, make sure I'm still <laughs> awake, <laughs> alive. <laughs> so this is just alcohol ink. So this, so this is a really old one. This is a um, uh, laser, uh, no, letter set one, not a laser set. <laughs> um, and then this is one of the Tim Holtz ones. Um, so what is it? Um, I was trying. I'm trying to read that, and that's not in English, Dave. Um, <laughs> it says alcohol ink, strangely. It's, it's, I thought they were called um, Linda Ronstadt or something like that. Aronda. Uh, what is it? Is it Arondak or Ariondak or Ariondak? Yeah, uh, uh, Ariana Grande or something Ariana like Grande. that. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Ronstadt or I don't know what it's called. They're, what, they're normally called something Linda like that. Ronstadt. <laughs> That's a person, isn't it? It was a, it yeah. was a singer. <laughs> so I'm just making it kind of a bit oldy, yellowy, you know, been around for a while type look to it. Um, 
and you kind of just keep going until you get the color you want the problem is when you put it on this background you can't tell what color it is you have to kind of get something white white cool whip cool whip there we go that's about the right color for me um so put the lids on no put the right lids on the right thing dave oh, yes so <laughs> Well, I don't know. It's, uh, is it Adirondack? Ad, Adiron like Ad Ariana Grande? Ariana no. Grande. Um, do Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> yeah. Hair tussle. Um, do, no, I'm sure I had something with it on. Well, there I thought are, that. That is a brand, and there are some alcohol. Yes. Brands. Yeah. Not all alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah so this in the linda ronstadt version um you can get as well it's the same thing you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and if you don't well what, what are you doing watching me because like i don't come with subtitles although you know i know that you some people on youtube do watch that the majority of my viewers are english speaking but yet they still use <laughs> subtitles Mm. Rude is all I can say. Rude. So the problem with alcohol ink is it can be leave it a bit sticky if it's not dry. And really, if you're using sticky tape, um, try not to heat dry it like I'm doing. So don't do like I'm doing, um, because what happens is um, it wrinkles it. But you know that's part of the fun of it, isn't it? So. So yeah, so now I'll move move that out of the way. So that, I keep, that looks like that all the time. I keep it because I use it for the same thing all the time. So there's no point disposing of it because I'll just do the same thing to another piece. So the only thing is, this has already got sellotape down the side of this and now I think, ah, 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 my brain's going, ah, 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 you want to do that on the rest of it, Dave. Do it, Dave, Dave. <laughs> So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the sellotape that's already there look like this as well. But I'm gonna mask off the rest of it. I'm really sorry if this is a very very random video and a bit too much for you. Is it too much, Brian? No. Okay. So Brian is my filter. Brian's the person that kind of says, "Dave, you've been you know too much, or you need to shut up now, or inside voice." Um. Because I don't actually possess that filter, so I've just put the stamp the thing away. Let's get this back now. Do it again. I just want to kind of yellow this bit up, make it look a bit more. <laughs> I was going to say make it look more authentic, but it's, it looks authentic now because that's the colour it's supposed to be. Um, I'm trying to make it look like a colour it's not supposed to be. So I'm making it look less authentic in a more authentic way. <laughs> Go figure. It's all part of the vintage. Yeah, exactly. It makes it just look a bit more vintage this way. So um, put the lid back on at the same time, Dave, and then you're not going to get confused in two minutes when you're trying to put the lids back on the different things when your brain is not... Oh, it's a good job nobody's got one of those shape things that you know where you like square and round blocks to put into different shapes oh i can't, <laughs> can't explain what i mean you know like kids do like they have a wooden block with like lots of different shapes and you have to put the i couldn't i, I bet today i couldn't do that <laughs> it's all mod cons these days i've got an electronic well, i've got an electronic picnic basket with different shapes oh and you put the triangle through the triangle, and it asks you what it says. Please put the triangle in the triangle hole. Oh, okay. So apparently they're they're all interactive and electronic these days. So, so what do I know? That kind of looks like it's been done with uh, leopard print um, style. Um, Bet Lynch, Kim Woodburn. Yeah, Bet Lynch, Kim Woodburn. Yeah. If you're not from the UK, you won't have a clue who we're talking about on either of them. I don't think. Have to be a Coronation Street fan. Yeah, Coronation Street for Bet Kim. No, not Kim Woodburn. <laughs> um, for Bet Lynch. And <laughs> I despair. <laughs> I can't cope, Brian. 
brain is too much. Cannot compute. Malfunction. Oh dear, it's, it kind of bled a bit. Never mind. Ah, so let's try and stick this on and try and make it a bit more robust. Cool whip. Um, sorry, the the silence is me thinking while concentrating more. I haven't got my tongue out, but I'm definitely concentrating. So let's just squeeze. Eee. Not concentrating enough then. There you go. So let's try again. Well, not again, because we're going to use the other piece anyway. I don't know. Dave, you're not going to see that piece. What a foolish boy. Foolish child. That's me. Yeah. Let's put the two on together. You're not going to see it. I've just realised. None of you said. You didn't say. You just left me hanging. Left me, left me to find out myself. Find out the hard way. A bit like life. Oh. What? <laughs> Leah's just got a good answer for the whether it should be A or B. Okay. Do you want to hear it? I don't know. Just been, uh, like it sounds, uh, if you when you say it like that, do you want to hear it? It sounds like it's a threat. So like I don't know whether I do. So she might be threatening me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she said it should be B because it matches the yellow pen holders and, <laughs> and the crisscross thing. Yeah. Plus, there's a letter B on the wax seal. Ah. Oh. Deep. Ooh, clever thought about it. Yes. <laughs> deep. Okay, well. Enough. Go lay down. I said I was going to put it to a vote, so let's hope they all think like you. So, um, because now I can't feel. I, I, it's like when it's like when you list something on eBay, and you say that it's, you know, it's a, um, an auction, um, and then somebody goes and sells it to a buy it now. I, I can't do that. I have to kind of stick with. If I said I was going to do it one way, I'm going to do it that way. So, sorry, Leo. Maybe we should have come to you first before we decided to have competition, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. We've kind of made it a bit more agey looking, um, aged, a bit more like me. And I'm going to cover some of it up anyway because I'm going to put some of this on it. So I might put that over where it's bled a bit there. I might put that over there. So let's get my um get my finger on the button. Um just because I cut this bit in half, it's not got any kind of genuine age to it. I'm quite happy with that bit. Um but I want to put some of this on here. Just to age it down a bit so yeah i've been the other thing i want to talk to you about is i put on my facebook that i am not sure whether i'm going to continue doing facebook lives okay so um i mean i'm i'm not saying i'm not going to i'm just putting it out there that i'm toying with the idea of stopping doing them uh i don't get many watchers and i, I please don't go away please don't you know we Please love the ones leave. that are here. Yeah, we look. Yeah, exactly. We do love the ones that are here. Um, but I could pre-record this, um, and I wouldn't. I would never. I'd never edit anyway. So that like, like all of the stuff. Well, I said never. I rarely edit. Um, so I would leave all of the faux pas and you know stupid things that happen to me in. So it's not about that. It's not about me wanting to be to stifle my creativity is about knowing what the focus is and sometimes I find it hard to commit to a to a Sunday sometimes I'm feeling you know I work Monday to Friday I, I do a really busy demanding job and Sundays it can get a bit like I feel like I'm tied to the time and um, whereas I can pre-record at any time of day, so whenever I feel like it. So last night when I couldn't sleep, I could have been doing some pre-recording. Um, whereas 
you can't do that when you're doing it live I don't, I don't think many people would watch me at three o'clock in the morning so um and even if you did it's not not going to be great for my health to be staying awake till three o'clock in the morning just to, to be able to do otherwise then you're tied to the time again i don't know how, i'm not not really explaining myself very well um or am i i don't know um i'm just i find it sometimes hard to commit to the time is what i what i'm saying He's asking for opinion yeah so i'm at yeah yeah i'm asking for your opinion i'm asking for um what you think whether you enjoy watching me on a sunday um is it something that you commit to and actually think you know well really i could i should be doing this or you know the people going without food um because like you know they're supposed to be you can't they're all cook supposed to, yeah can't can't yeah can't cook crafty moose is on um or can't eat crafty moose is on um i don't know uh, so i just want your kind of i want your kind of opinion on that um and you know it's just it's difficult i never make a dis i don't make hasty decisions trust me anybody that knows me knows that i do not make hasty decisions and it takes me a long time to research whatever i buy <laughs> um except for the sofa that i bought the other the other week which was was my first like impulse, impulse buy and brian felt really proud of me for <laughs> being able to just decide on the spot to buy a sofa so it was in the sale yeah we saved about a thousand pounds well i say we i saved a thousand pounds um I sat on it. Yeah, Brian sat on it. Brian encouraged the decision, so so it's his fault. <laughs> so he ma he made me buy a really beautiful um, green velvet sofa that is so beautifully soft that it just eats you when you sit on it. So, at a thousand pounds less than it was. Yeah, at a thousand pounds less than it was supposed to be. Um, I'll take the blame for that. So yeah, so Brian, there you go. Brian's happy to take the blame for that. So, um, so I got it for an absolute steal. Um, I mean, didn't steal it. Um, I just got it for an absolute steal. Does that make sense? Just lucky that we had That's the term, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> got it for an absolute steal, and I was thinking, <gasps> you all think I've stolen it? No, I didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which is a my, br my, my brain uh, sometimes it's my my literal brain kicks in and like I can't work out whether I'm saying the right thing you know. let's put I don't know I might have a bit of that down there it's got a bit of an arc to it already so it's not covering too much up it's got a bit of no not happy maybe maybe that let's try and just tear it on that kind of i don't know what i'm talking about i'm really finding it hard to, to put words together <laughs> today so let's do that stick that there you're not going to see all of this anyway so um we're just going to stick that on this might look like a whole pile of cow manure um but because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, you know what it'll be, won't, don't you? I'll, I'll get to the end and I'll finish it, and then I'll next next day tomorrow I'll come I'll come upstairs and I think, what? When did I make that? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I won't remember making it. So, um, did you just go and um? All oh, right. Grumbles downstairs. At least it's quieter than if it's grumbling. Yeah, that's true. So it's, it's, it's Worcester's grumbling about. I think we've had a lot of uh, football um, matches on today. Um, we've got, um, and I've got a field near to me where they all play football and things. Um, so I, I think they've been playing football, and he's not happy about the people walking past the window. How dare you? How dare you? Um, Put that off, maybe put that there. 
does stand on that windowsill like the Lord of the Manor, though. <laughs> he does, yeah. He sta- he, he's, he's, I, I think I've, I think there's a photo on the on the um, the video in my um, on my YouTube. There's a thing about Worcester, so there's a whole put together, you know, reel of um, photos. I am trying to get my words out, and I am trying to make some some kind of coherent sense. Trust me, I'm trying. Um, and on there, there's a bit. What, there's a photo of how he stands. So he stands with his back legs on the bed and his front legs on the on the windowsill, which is about a uh, it's about six inches in height difference. And he stands and he just looks out like he's like Lord of the Manor and get off my land. So. So anyway, um, I feel like I'm being irritating and annoying now. So, <laughs> nope, crack on. Okay, so my, I, this is again another whole. It's the emotional roller coaster of me when I'm feeling tired, um, not being able to work out whether I'm saying too much or not enough, or because it's like uh, for for an autistic person, it's uh, that's all co- all conversations about anything and everything to everyone we meet is all that trying to analyze what to say when to say it what when it's your turn to say something um how much to say how much not to say have i said too much have i said too little um and certainly for me that's how it 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 is and when i'm tired i don't have the brain capacity to work all of those things out so I just end up talking and then people say I don't shut up for five minutes. But then I've watched some people who craft who don't shut up, who do shut up. And I'm thinking, talk, just talk. Yeah, you used to do that to me. So, yeah, oh, but, but, yeah oh. I do it to Brian. So when I say some crafters, I mean Brian. Um, <laughs> I don't mean just Brian. I mean other people as well. So, but, you know, they... But mainly Brian. But mainly Brian, yes. <laughs> um but yeah, the, I I kind of I want people to talk when they're crafting. I want to feel like I'm you know there with them and you know and I, I, basically uh, some of the time I'll have people on and not really watching them. And if they don't stop talking, I think I've lost connection. So I'm stopping talking for two minutes. I've, I've got to have some water. The other solution is all of you just come round. <laughs> Do a live live. Yes, on a Sunday, just come round on a Sunday instead. And do a live live in the living room. <laughs> do a live live. I mean, like you know, that there is that side of things. I do do a live sometimes because it stops me from feeling lonely, which I do. I suffer with loneliness. You know, I've, this is not something anybody. I'm saying that nobody knows. Um, and having that connection with you guys just helps. I don't know whether this looks any good or whether it's a pile of pants or... Just carry on, carry on. I don't know. It's unlike, I always end up making something that's not in my style when I'm not present. <laughs> I mean, I am present, obviously, but like my mind isn't fully present, so... I know, but it's good because it'll get you going and then your next video, you'll be like... <gasps> I've worked out how to fix it. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> That's what you normally do. <laughs> so I'm going to put that over there, I think. I want to make that a bit darker, though. I don't want it to go too dark. Oh, and in my um, in my next video, so the one that I will do for my YouTube channel, we're going to make this. So, so we're going to make one of these. So, And I'll show you how to do that after this but it won't be live the next one so it's a yeah because like lots of people have been making things out of old purses including tracy fox um sorry i said it as in tracy fox question mark to brian and he said yes um but like making things out of old purses which is great if you have an old purse but being a guy i don't tend to have an old purse so uh, and like being a guy, I don't tend to have an old wallet either because I keep my wallets until they like fall apart. 
they get all moulded in the shape of your butt buttocks and you know they just fit nicely in your back pocket and all that anyway um so i thought i'll make my own purse uh although i know that in america they don't call it a purse do they a purse is a handbag isn't it what's a purse i don't know what what is a purse in uh, somebody somebody from america tell me if we so the outer thing that you put a purse into with money in it um what's the outer thing called well you call it a purse but what's the inner thing what's the thing that you put your actual cash into called um that's what i want to know and that's what brian wants to know so so yeah so we're asking now so we need to know so let's use some of this what i'm going to do i'm going to snip it a bit and then I'm just going to tear it so it tears sort of naturally. Um, and I'll decide which bit I want to use. So I'm going to put that bit there. Wrap that bit round. Do that. And then I'm going to have some more. I'll put some of this on the edge. Okay. Slimmy World Pizza for tea today, so nom, nom, nom. yeah, looking forward to that. I'll just, it's I'd, good for you, but it feels like a treat. Yeah, so Brian's just said it's good for you, but it feels like a treat, which it does. So, sorry, I've just cut it and then realised actually I wanted it to look like it was torn. So, um, so now I'm trying to rectify my mistake. Brian wasn't thinking. Okay. Not that we're going to see much of it, but maybe put that like that on there. And wrap it round there. Oh, you know, I like the addition of the sellotape. I think the sellotape, oh, sorry, sticky tape, the other brands of, of sticky tape are available, and I believe it's called scotch tape in the US. So. I, I don't know, is it just in America or is it in Canada as well? You get scotch tape here. I know, but it's not, we don't. A scot, scotch tape, I knew scotch tape as being a video cassette tape. We don't well, call it. Now you're going back. We don't call it scotch tape, do we? We call it either yeah. sticky tape or sellotape. We call it sellotape. Yeah. And we call it sellotape whether it's made by sellotape or not. This is actually wow. real branded sellotape. I want sponsoring sellotape. Thank you. Um, <laughs> just advertised you. Um, and sellotape but you that. can get generic. Oh, no, this is not generic because this is also sellotape. <laughs> you can get, get generic sellotape, which is not called sellotape because it's it's a brand. It's called sticky tape. Right, the whole hoover thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, do you push a hoover around your carpet um, or do you, you know, do you push something else around your carpet to vacuum with, but you actually still call it a hoover. So you might use a Dyson and call it a hoover, but it's actually not a hoover because a hoover is brand name. <sighs> Shut up, Dave. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, so I feel like I've been going on forever. <laughs> an hour 52 minutes right there you go so that's perfect oh, time for me to shut up isn't it <laughs> so let's a wallet all oh, right okay so a wallet though in um in the uk is for a men purse. is a man yeah it's a it's a man's purse no it's a man's wallet a man a man's yeah purse so it's like a it's where we keep our money, but women wouldn't have a wallet. They would have a purse. And they would put their purse in a handbag, whereas men put their wallet in their in their back pocket, usually. So, backside, I was going to say. S. Um, pocket. <laughs> Derriere. Um, and also... Um, yeah, you can put it in one of those bags that goes around your waist, but I can't say what. A bum bag. But bum we bag don't. In this country. In this a country, fanny, pack in, a fanny pack in in um, the US, but here 
that word means something completely different. So, <laughs> so, it's a bum bag. so it's a bum bag, yeah. Okay, so that's what that's what I'm thinking. How does that look? Do you like it? Do you like it, Brian? Brian, does it look alright? Is it alright? Yeah. Like it? Okay, so didn't want to over over egg the pudding. Some of you are thinking that's that ship has sailed. <laughs> so, in fact, let's just have a think. So if I glue it, if I glue it, obviously not these, not these bits together, but if I glue, if I glue there and round, you could put something underneath. No, I won't bother because like it would just be really, oh, you could put something there though, couldn't you? Right, okay. So I'm just gonna glue, stick these together. Stop picking the glue up and not knowing what you're doing, Dave. So, we're going to have that there and we're going to stick it like that. Stick it. Um, yeah, so we're going to stick it there. If we go up to the, the record centre for, sorry, the centre for record enthusiasts and centre is spelt the English way, the British way, not the American way, the right way, <laughs> yes, I was going to say the right way, but like, <laughs> have to be careful, Brian, so I'm just going to glue there, contemplated having another pocket from the other side, but I just think it gets a bit complicated as well, so, so yeah, um, I don't think I've seen many people do anything. Well, don't see, think I've seen many people do anything. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think I've seen um, people do anything with singles cases before. So I just well, thought, okay. I just thought, well, you know, obviously don't go and cut, don't cut anybody's collection up. Well, yeah. <laughs> Ask the bill payers' permission before you, um, you cut any of their prized possessions up um i'm definitely not cutting my collection up this is all from the charity shop so i'm going to have those stuck together i'm going to stick that onto there and then we've got two kind of pockets where you can see you know some thing behind it dave shut up this down and then we'll, <gasps> says um oh this is uh listening um browsery facilities listening booths head head row house Leeds one 32 Ca cambridge street harrogate oh Leeds one sorry and then 32 cambridge harrogate um leeming street mansfield so there was one in Head Row House, does that still exist, Brian? Brian knows more about Leeds than I do. Bet there's no listening booths there now. I guess it might have been... Would it have been like HMV or something like that? Yeah, no, I mean like... His master's work? Yeah. I think this is EMI, though. Did it not say it was EMI? I don't know if there's a, a head row house. I'm assuming there will be. Cause well, it doesn't mean that they still exist, does it? So. No, they probably don't. But yeah. most of the no, I don't mean that. I mean the building. A lot of the old buildings are still on the head row. So we're trying to establish whether the building that this, where these came from, where this thing came from, Google is it still... Oh, no, it's in my back pocket. And the telephone number. The telephone number is... Twenty-five ninety-one. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Before time began. they're eleven digits long now. So, <laughs> okay. So there we go. That's what we've got. So what we've what we've ended up with is let's just use this, Dave. Let's just cut it down and make a make something we can we can demonstrate with. Okay, so. We've got a little, except for Dave, you have to go a bit smaller than that because you've got to remember you've just glued the top bit down. 
and we've got a little kind of tuck there and we've got a little tuck here not a fryer tuck just a little tuck so there okay so what you'll see is you'll see a bit of that and you'll see a bit of that one as well so there we go okay let's just oh, apparently it's a pub now oh actually i like it's a multi a multi-use venue set across four floors okay so it's a multi-use venue set across four floors an award-winning restaurant ox club a large beer hall and two roof terraces and is it actually a place is it an old building or is it a new building building have you got a picture I'm just looking for a picture for you so <laughs> so we can have a look together so um so yeah so that's what we've that's what we've made um there's still some space to put something here and i want to put some flat things here the next week what we're going to do is we're just going to put something here perhaps just a little pocket and we'll put some um I was thinking about doing some envelope pockets either side um, and we'll get those done next week so how do you feel about that so you got one no that's the only outside one I can find okay everything else is like of the roof because so I'm guessing we... that's where the beer takes place there you go that's what it looks like now so there you go but not really very it's got those old-fashioned windows yeah it's got very 30s looking look to it 30s looking look to it mm. yeah <laughs> so anyway um there we go so that's it that looks like it's cut half my name off there doesn't it so it looks like it should say dave's <laughs> so, <laughs> but it doesn't <laughs> so um there you go so just something hopefully you think that that's a bit different hopefully you like the the way that i've attached in the french board and hopefully you will come and find me not like in person don't like stalk me or anything like that i'll come to find you um and hopefully you'll come and find the video of doing this so um we might find somewhere for that in here not now i don't uh, mean but for... stopped your camera? no it we might on we might what we'll might do is we might just put this in here somewhere when we've when we've made one together we might find somewhere to put that and then that's one sorted and then we'll put an envelope pocket in the other one so okay so where are we with this brian our vote so brian's just going to count the votes um we're going to have to get norris mcguerter in for to um verify i'm not digging him up <laughs> and really not, norris mcguerter he did record breaking thing didn't yeah. he in his book of records and it didn't he have a brother they were twins weren't they norris and yeah one of them died sooner than the other uh yeah a change purse is that what you said no change is good as a rest purse brian's just having to get his shoes and socks off to be able to count up the tally <laughs> <laughs> Brian can't read the thing the thing so yeah so the, what we'll I'll give you the answer in a minute um so if you're just kind of like hanging on but yes we'll make this in the I'll I'll do a video after this that I'll pre-record that'll go on my YouTube only um and that's what we'll put into into here and then what we'll do is we're going to stuff it with some ephemera that I've already made so um and i'll put all the links to the various things in that you know the final video it's the fine it's not the final video so i won't sing it um i'll when i when i do it i'll i'll link everything in it because uh, i just thought it'd be a great way to use up some of the ephemera that i already make so drum roll the winner is B. B. What? Is it five unanimous? Votes. With five votes. Two votes for A. Two votes for A and five votes for B. My. So we are having the B. We're having the B. It's all about the B. So, in fact, actually, why don't we just stick that on now? Your We've decided. Your public your, have spoken. My public have spoken. Exactly. My public have spoken. There's no going back now. 
we said at the end of this video we would make a decision and we have and I am unanimous in that no um, <laughs> that's a Mrs Slocum quote um, I'm unanimous in that um, so I'm gonna stick it down and then we can't go back on it so hopefully you made the right decision hopefully you're not regretting your choices because once it's stuck down, well, it won't. It's not going to be there forever. So it could, it could be. Down, we're blaming you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's your fault. So just putting a decent amount down so that it all oh, it sticks nicely. Um, and we're going to make sure it's the right way up, Dave. Which it is. The birds are the right way up. Put it onto there. Have it a little bit further over that way, like that. I think that's how I would like it. Kind of even top and bottom. We'll open it up. We'll just give it a good old press down. There you go. You've made your decision. Hopefully nobody's regretting it. We'll do something with this as well. Um, so in one of the videos. So we've either got one or two videos to go on this so there we go that's it so there we go we're done it's there it's stuck see it's there and we've got the french board in la 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 oh la la french board um sorry <laughs> we'll have something in in these things by next end of next week and um we've got we've made that today so thank you very much for joining me I hope you have a lovely uh, rest of your day um, and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, I hope my um, talking hasn't driven you insane um, and I will see you all again in the next video. So have a lovely afternoon folks. I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. So, so far you haven't. So, um, so, so just keep saying so Dave. So. <laughs> anyway, I'm off <laughs> before I say so again. Oh no, I've done it. Okay. The pulling Take, oh yeah, Brian's singing now. We're definitely going. Bye. Lots of kisses, lots of hugs, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye. I, I, I was going to say, can you stop it? But like, yeah, I've got it. <laughs>